In a bold move reflecting a more aggressive strategy by the Afghan government to connect with farmers out in the hinterlands, Musa Khan, governor of Ghazni, flew out to speak to these villagers about the new government. The governor spoke of many things, including a more formal Western-style rule of law and a more tolerant interpretation of Islam. He quoted the hadith, or sayings of the Prophet Muhammad. With ISAF troop withdrawal deadlines approaching, Afghan army and police forces are stepping up and taking the lead on military operations. And the government is similarly compelled to actively introduce itself and gain legitimacy among very isolated villagers. But these villagers, who showed up in strength and sat in the sun for hours, didn't come just to hear a lecture. They had things to say to the governor, as well as to the military and police commanders sitting alongside him. <laughs> Along with wanting a more professional, effective police and military force, the villagers want basic infrastructure. Theorists say that the way to kill an insurgency is to take away its support by the populace. And this makes a lot of sense in the case of Ghazni, where it seems the only way for insurgent activity to be shut down is for the locals to stop providing them food and shelter. Otherwise, Taliban will be able to harass Afghan army and police forces and ISAF forces and then disappear. But the dilemma is that a lot of farmers who help the Taliban don't necessarily want to, but they can't defend themselves against them. So there has to be more Afghan army and police presence in the area as well. The occasional drop in from the governor and his retinue is only a gesture not a foundation for governance. But at this stage of the game, it is a crucial gesture. Because this is a contested area, as indicated by the few mortar rounds fired from a hilltop by the Taliban as the governor was leaving. People are used to the Taliban taking pot shots. They are less accustomed to the governor showing up to talk and to listen. Jeff Holden in Ghazni for the NATO Channel.